Welcome to our Synergy Studio. This routine is a level one mat routine. Therefore, no props are required. We're just going to move um, and strengthen on our own mat. Let's start in four points. So make your way over into hands and knees or come on down to your mat if you're standing. Let's get set up well into four points. So just taking a moment to look at your hands, spreading out the fingers and the thumbs. Relax the elbows a little bit. I want you to think of drawing up through your lower abdominals. So noticing if you have the tendency to fall into kind of a curved position, or if you tend to be more um, rounded. So just lengthening out through the crown of the head, Lower abdominals are drawn in. Even weight through your right and left hand. Let's see if we can slide one leg out and then use our glute to lift that leg, but working hard through the abdominals not to let the pelvis tilt forward. So we're drawing up and in, staying nice and level. Coming back down, alternate sides. So as you're sliding, think of squeezing the glute to lift the leg. Stay nice and level. You can keep a little tuck of the chin and then coming back. Option here to add in the opposite arm. Here we're sliding out left leg, right arm, and then lifting with our thumb up towards the ceiling. Again, often the head will follow. Try and keep a little chin tuck. Long line. Coming back. Other side. Nice smooth breathing pattern and see if you can get that arm up just a little bit more. Good. Let's do four more together here. Alternating sides. Sliding out, stabilizing through the abdominals, reaching long. Good. Trying to stay stable through the trunk. A lot of us, as we lift our leg, will kind of rotate the whole body. So we want to think the bones of the pelvis stay facing towards our mat. Good. One more each side. A little chin tuck long through the back of the neck. Breathing. Last one. Great job. Let's take a break off, off our wrists. So press back towards your shell stretch or child's pose. You can have narrow knees or you can take them a little bit wider. If your knees don't quite bend that full range, you could uh, modify by coming down on your elbows and just going part of the way back. Take a couple deep breaths. Your goal here is to breathe and just expand through the rib cage. Let's come back up into four point and move our spine. So this exercise is called cat-cow. Start by tilting the pelvis forward gently, letting your spine relax between your shoulder blades. Open up through the collarbones, but we're avoiding hyperextending through our neck, keeping the back of the neck long. Then try and tuck your tailbone under, sit bones roll together. Push from your shoulder blades and let your head relax. Good, let's move through each position two more times. Breathing in, sit bones open. Spine relaxes into this extended position. Strong exhale, you can add your pelvic floor lift in as you round up. One more each way. Here, hold your rounded um, cat position, so lots of flexion through our lumbar spine. As you stay rounded, start to press yourself back. This time we'll stay in our shell stretch and walk our hands over to one side. So walk your hands over to one side of your mat and your hips can stay fairly centered on your feet. Take a couple deep breaths into the side body. Seeing if you can feel a further stretch as you breathe. Hands come over to the other side. Again, hips stay fairly centered on your feet. Couple deep breaths. Bring the hands back to center. 
center, we're going to come over into side lying. So you can always have an extra cushion or layer underneath that bottom hip if it's a little bit tender. And you want to choose a comfortable position for your head and neck. Some of us might be comfortable um, propped up. You could rest down on a straight arm or maybe have a cushion there. Let's make sure we're in a long straight line through our spine. We're going to have a little bit of bend in our bottom leg. Pelvis is nice and stuck, so you should feel like each of the bones of your pelvis are facing square forward. Let's lengthen our top leg and work through 10 of our side leg lifts. Drawing in through the lower abdominals. Relax the foot of your top leg. Let's take a breath in and we'll just lift to wherever we feel comfortable. And then exhale to lower. Most of us will notice our leg migrate forward. So I want you to think of keeping the heel of your moving leg gently reaching behind you. So it should be in line with your body and a little bit back. Good, let's keep going. You could have your hand on the lower abdominals to help cue you um, to engage them. You could also have your hand lightly down in front of you for balance. Smooth breathing. Let's take a breath in as we come up, trying to relax our bottom leg, noticing if you're bracing with that leg. Exhale to lower. Let's try three more. Smooth breath in. Think of reaching the heel just a little bit back to engage a little extra glutes. Two more. Excellent. Take a little break. You can let your leg rest on the bottom leg or sometimes it feels nice just to let it drape forward and get a bit of a stretch in the outer hip muscles you were using. Gently press yourself up. We're going to swing around, or you can roll over. Coming into side lying on our second side, let's compare how our um, strength and mobility feels from one side to the other. Again, a long line through your spine. Choose a comfortable head position for you. A little bit of bend in the bottom leg. Lengthen out the top leg. It should feel like it's in line with your side body. And then draw the heel back a little bit. Hand can be on lower belly or resting on the floor. Breathe in. Let's lengthen our leg up. So we're thinking of using our side hip muscles. And then lowering down. A visual of your heels sliding up and down the wall behind you can be helpful. Always a good idea to integrate our core breathing. So breathing in with one portion of the movement. And then on that exhale, you can try a gentle pelvic floor lift, little tightening through lower belly. Good. Check in with your bottom leg. Trying to keep that relaxed and the work is happening in the hip of our moving leg. Four more. Breathing in. Strong through your legs. Exhale to lower. As we try these last three, maybe going a little bit higher if you feel comfortable. But making sure that as you challenge the height of your side leg lift, that heel feels like it's reaching back slightly. Last one. Great job. Again, rest here. Bottom leg can be stacked, or top leg can be stacked on your bottom leg, or you can just stretch forward um, to relieve that outer hip for a moment. Let's make our way over onto our back. If you have a small um, cushion at home, you might like to have that just to support your head, or if you're comfortable being flat on your back, that's great too. So we'll make our way down onto our mat. Let's take a moment just to find a neutral spine. So what I want you to try is a little rock in towards a flat back and then a little bit of a rock in towards an arch back. So here as we rock back and forth, we're just gently moving on our sacrum, which is the bone of the back of your pelvis. Let's find a position where we feel nice and centered on the back of our sacrum. Shoulder blades are relaxed on the mat. Feet are hip distance apart. We're going to work through some single leg lifts. So take a breath in 
As you exhale, engage through your lower abdominals and pelvic floor, and we're going to try and float that leg up into a single tabletop. So hips at 90 and our knees at 90, and the main thing here is that you've maintained that curve in your low back. We've avoided going into a flat back position. Good, lowering down. Inhale, let's reset. Exhale, pelvic floor lift, feeling that tightness across our lower abdominals, which is our transverse abdominals, and feeling like we're floating that leg up. Inhale to lower. So you work with your own breathing speed, using the strength of your exhale to stabilize your low back and pelvis. As the leg comes up, the foot should be hidden behind your thigh. So notice if there's any rotation that's happening at the hip. Alternating sides. You can certainly use your hands for some cueing, either hands on the lower abdominals, or I find it helpful to have the thumbs reaching up towards the rib cage. We want to think of maintaining the same distance between our low ribs and the top of our pelvis throughout our exercise. Strong exhale, engaging to lift. Let's do one more each side. You can exhale out through round lips, get a little extra resistance to that. Great job, take a break. Take the feet the width of your mat, arms can be relaxed by your side. And let's just try a gentle knee rock side to side. So our knees are just like windshield washers, windshield wipers. We're relaxed through our hips and our feet. So notice if you have any gripping that's happening through the feet, let that go. Let's try one more each side. And just kind of massaging out the back of the pelvis. Pause in neutral. Let's bring our feet hip distance apart. Arms are long by your side. We're going to work through a set of rolling bridges. Think of even pressure through the bottoms of your feet, or I like to imagine that we're making a perfect footprint. Take a breath in. As you exhale, start to curl up that bottom tip of your tailbone. We're going to roll up one vertebrae at a time up into our bridge. So press through your feet, squeeze your glutes to lift your hips, but then think of gently rolling in the front ribs. So we feel some abdominal work here. Breathe in at the top. Exhale to roll back down. If you're using a small head cushion, it can feel a little more comfortable to take it out for bridge. Breath in to reset. Exhale, squeeze your glutes, roll up. So we're also focused on our spine mobility as, as well as our glute strength. Inhale to stay. Exhale to roll down. As you're bridging, Make sure that the knees aren't starting to migrate out to the side or coming together. So we want to think of keeping that space between your knees the same throughout your bridge. Two more. Let's hold our last one together. Breathing in at the top. Exhale to roll down. Last one, we're going to challenge our endurance and bridge here. Exhale to roll up. Stay here. So glutes are on. Ribs are gently rolled in, pressing through our heels. Let's move our arms as we breathe. Take a breath in, arms lift up and go a little bit overhead, just as far as you can control the movement of your rib cage. And then exhale, arms come down just to a hover by our side. Three more breaths. Keep the glutes on. Breathe in to lift the arms. Breathe out to lower them to a hover by your side. Two more breaths. Working hard. Last one. Check in with the glutes. They're on. Ribs are rolled in. Breathing in to move the arms. Exhale, arms come all the way down to your mat. Roll yourself down with control. And then take a rest. You can hug the knees to the chest. 
or modify by rocking the knees side to side like we just did. Take a couple deep breaths here to reset. Sometimes drawing a little circle on the back of the pelvis can feel nice just to move gently. Good, let's lower down one leg at a time. For our next core exercise, we're going to try what's called our single leg bicycle. Again, goal of this exercise would be to maintain a neutral low back with even pressure and centered on the back of your pelvis. We're going to bring one leg up to tabletop. Hold it here for a moment. As you breathe in, I want you to draw the knee a little bit towards your chest and then exhale as you reach the leg away. Good, inhale, bring the leg back. Draw the knee in just a little bit towards your chest and then exhale, reaching long. Good, four more on this side. Inhaling, exhaling to reach long. Hands can help you to keep the left and right side of your pelvis level. Two more. Good, gently we're going to try our single leg bicycle on the second side. Again, stabilize through the low back. Draw one leg up to tabletop. As you inhale, we're going to bring that knee a little bit in towards our chest without falling into a flat back. So hold that low back neutral and then exhale, we're going to reach the leg away. Inhale, bring the knee back through tabletop a little bit towards you. Strong exhale and pelvic floor lift to support the long lever of that leg. Inhaling, exhale to reach, getting a little stretch through the leg. Three more. If you want a little challenge, you can just gently float the arms up to the ceiling, trying to relax through our face and neck. One more, knee a little bit to the chest. Exhale to reach long, and then lower down. Excellent, let's finish with two hip stretches. We'll do our pretzel stretch. So we have one foot on the opposite knee. For some of us, this will feel an appropriate depth of stretch. If you want a little bit more, you can lift that bottom leg and either support um, hands on your leg or sometimes using a little towel or a band can be helpful. In this stretch, you should be able to breathe and relax some of your deep hip muscles. So notice if you're feeling more tense, try and soften that. Relaxing our face. One more deep breath here. Ease out of that. Let's try our outer hip stretch on the other side. Again, compare the mobility of your hips. Foot's on the opposite knee. You can decide if this is an appropriate stretch or if you'd like to take that a little bit deeper into a stretch, you can lift the bottom leg. Relaxing here, jaws relaxed. Some nice long inhales. Maybe a little sway side to side. One more breath. And then gently ease out of that. Let's finish in our butterfly stretch. Feet are together. Let the knees fall open. You could always um, support the legs with some pillows if you find you have a lot of hip tension. I want us to rest our hands on our belly. And as we stay in stretch here, take a breath in. And I want you to feel your belly relax and rise as you inhale. And then exhale, just noticing how it falls. Two more. Inhaling to let our belly relax. Last one. Knees come up. Again, take a little bit of space with the feet. Just a gentle rock side to side. We did it. Thanks for joining me today for our level one mat series.